ever spend forever scrolling in Excel to find a right rows? Here are three ways to do a data filtering in MS Excel, which are very simple. To get started, save this video. So you can see, this is the data set I have available with me, right? Dates, region, category, sales rate, so on and so forth, right? And the criteria I have added in the, this specific cell. Okay, now in this case, first we will use a advanced filter called data and then advanced option. Okay, you will get a pop up like this. First, what you have to do, you have to select this entire range like this. Okay, and then you have to select a criteria. So, criteria is this for me, right? So, copy to another location. Uh, the another location is this. Okay, you can select any other location as well. Complete your call how you want to keep it. For now, I kept it like this. And then simply click on this OK button. You can see, as per the criteria, we got this result added over here. There is another method to add a filter. Simply, you can use a control shift L. Okay, you can shortcut key is that Alt D F S. Okay, any one shortcut key we can use it. Very simple. Now the last one, which is the most important, and uh, with the help of formula, you can use it. And this formula, you can use it in the reports while you are doing a automation kind of thing. Okay, how to do it? Let me type a filter function over here in Excel. And then let me select a, a1 to this entire selection, which is my G30. Okay, so this is my overall selection I have selected for now. And then comma B2. Okay, so this is my selection since we want to understand what is the header is all about so that's what we have to select a b1 from here to until b13 and then let's say is equal to your criteria okay so criteria would be in this case this okay because in the dynamic way we can change that as and when when we need that filterization okay that's what we are selecting that and then if the result is blank that time show me no data is available Okay, this is the basic text I have added over here. And then as soon as you're done with this, just put a enter button. Okay, now you can see here, if I say best, you can see the result at the bottom, right? If I want to say not, I will get an appropriate result then and there. This is how beautifully you can use a filterization in MS Excel using advanced function in Excel formula or maybe a quick shortcut. I hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.